All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ordinary E, um, the place where we're trying to build. We're trying to build a computer here for 99p, and in fact, I've got some good news. We've built the computer for absolutely nothing. If you remember in the last video, we got the monitors. I've managed to clean up the keyboards. I've got our mouses. Um, we have the case from before, we've got the CPUs, we've got the GPU, no, we've got the PSU, so the power supplies, and now um, we have some nice surprises. So we've got some fans, these are very small fans, they're from Nidec Beta, um, made in Taiwan, 12 volt. Some of them have connectors, some of them don't. It looks like a two pin connector for those. And one. I don't know what size this is. Is that 80, 80 mil or something? Maybe. I don't know. Then we've got this really small one that has a, a two pin connector as well. Let me see all that. And finally, we got 120. So that was a, a result. Um, we managed to pick up a chair. A gaming chair. I'll show you that off the camera in a bit and then finally to my surprise we got a whole computer well would you believe it so someone advertised it for free it's an ASAR computer it has a core i5 inside that had windows 7 it's got an io at the front if you see all that it has usb headphone jack some more usbs and a card reader in here we have a DVD player and then some specs so it's an Aspire X3990 Windows 7 Intel Core i5 processor so we'll just check if that processor is better than so we're gonna we've got three processors guys I paid 99p for one which I didn't have to now I, I could have got the whole machine for free not even 99p for free we've got four gigabytes of DDR3 memory inside um, we have other memory there. Uh, says it's got one terabyte of hard drive, a DVD, super multi drive, integrated LAN, which is a 10, 100, and 1000. I guess that's the download processing washing my who's it. Uh, and a multimedia card reader. Fantastic. There's an on off button there. ASAR case. We've got an I.O. shield, we've got a power supply in there, there's a small fan that's similar to one we just got there. In the back is HDMI, it's uh, more USBs, tons of USBs, uh, a LAN connection, and a monitor port there, and it's got those old, those old mouse and keyboard connections, but obviously you can use the USBs. Um, and then some Wi-Fi signals, microphone, and those... It's got those breakable slots, so I guess you could put some more. Um, all right, so hopefully there's a motherboard in here. I don't want to be using this. I obviously want to build the the main computer that we had. If any of you guys, whatever's left over, if you want any of this stuff, message me below, and I'll send you the stuff out because I'm not going to use all of it, obviously. And uh, fantastic, we have all the parts. So let me get this all cleaned up. Oh yeah, let me show you the chair. And here's a little gaming chair. It's very small, it's not massive. But that'll do for now. So all for free, even a gaming chair. So we've got the free monitors, we've got the computer, we've got the monitors, we've got the keyboards, and we've got the, the main computer that we're building up there. So we're gonna bring uh, Daddy back down and we're gonna start taking stuff apart. I'm hoping to, we're going to open this, have a look inside, and I'm hoping we've got power buttons, I.O. stuff I can put onto there. Um, we'll check out the, the power supply in here, if it's any better than the one we've got. Obviously, we'll check out the specs on the i5 processor, if it's better than the ones we we got. And then, whatever's left over, guys, just message me, and you can have it. One other thing. Clearly, this stuff is taking up too much room. So what we what I managed to also grab, oh and I forgot to tell you, I've got this too. A 
Pixima scanner printer. So from Canon, the scanner printer, absolutely free, off, uh, off that app that I'm using. What is it called? Free nothing or trash nothing. So guys, put your stuff on there that you don't use and we can use it. And everyone can have a computer for free, right? And also, I've noticed, again, a load of views. I'm getting no subscription, guys. Hit the subscribe button, smack the like button. Let's go. Now, I can't have all this stuff in, in, my, in my living room. So I managed to pick up a worktop. We're going to turn that into a desk. And I'll show you what's going on, what's going down with this. So here we are. I picked up this worktop. It's just a, like a normal kitchen worktop. It's got a malamine finish. Um, I've bleached it. It should come out nice once I lay it down. I'm going to nick the legs off of that thing. That table there, those legs. I'm going to put the legs on there. And then we're going to kit this whole room out into a, a gaming room. We're going to use the gaming grey. We're going to get some lights in here. We're going to start upgrading stuff. But first, let me go and clean all those other bits. And then, and then I'll show you what's inside that computer. All right, guys, I just finished cleaning up all the, uh, the fans that we got. And I had a closer look at what they are. So, yeah, I think these are 80 mil. They're all made in Taiwan. This is a Max Flow. This is a Panaflow. This is a, a Nidec Bet Seal. This is a Skyf 120. Now, this one would probably go into the, the case that we you've seen before there, that we're using, the half case. That might be ideal for that. As you see, they're all cleaned up now, looking good. Uh, if you've used, all I did was scrape them up, you see the black marks there, scrape them up with a toothbrush and soapy water. And um, if you do that, you may get some water inside. So best not to use these for about a week. So let them dry fully on your windowsill. Um, now, let's get to opening the computer and see what we got inside of that. Okay, so here it is. Get our trusty toolkit. I believe there's screws on the back here. Yep. I'm going to get extra screws for our PC build as well. Not that one. This one will do. I'll just show you. Someone's already been in this. You can tell. All right, so we'll just take that off. Let's see what we've got. Can you see that, guys? All right, so we've got a stock cooler on top of the i5 this looks like a power supply uh, see the connection missing we've got room we've got a pci slot for a graphics card then the io uh, there's the ram don't really know too much else is going on there so it looks like we've got a motherboard i don't know what type of motherboard it is That Acer Inc. H61H2 motherboard. Awesome. So there we go, guys. We've literally got a complete computer on its own. But we are not gonna we are not gonna stand for that. We are trying to build a computer with all the different components, grabbed all the different components. So we're gonna use some of this to make the half case work. But for fun, let's see. If we can make, th let's see if this one works, right? Uh, so we've got a hard drive, which is the CD, right? Yeah, the DVD player, the stock, the power supply. There's no hard drive, which is what this connection here must be for. Yeah, so there's the data for it. Where did the hard drive sit then? 
that's awesome we've got a whole a whole computer here what i'll do yeah let's plug a hard drive we did get a hard drive so now it gives a chance to look at that so we've got this hard drive um, from our belgium surprise package let's see if this will fit So what do you do? You've got two sides of this. You get your Molex connection. That should slide on. I don't know which way. Probably this way. Yep. And then you've got your data transfer. And that should slide on. Did the computer come with a power cable? I don't think it did. And that slides on there. So now we have a hard disk drive. It looks like this is too big for this case, but... I don't know what was in here. Um, we need some power. We can hook some monitors up and some keyboards, and then we can see if it turns on. Um, bear with me. Let me just do that quick. All right, guys. Moment of truth. I've plugged in the computer to some power. I've plugged in this monitor to some power. I've plugged in a keyboard, and I've plugged in a mouse as well. Where is that? Here it is. And. Let's see if it works. Oh, well, well, that's spinning. Does the monitor work? Yes, we've got check video cable. Oh, I didn't connect the monitor. Hold on. Right, I connected the monitor in that big bag of cables I had was a connection, so that was lucky as well. Um, I don't know what this is. Press delete to enter the BIOS setup. Press F1 to continue. What do we want to do here? I've never done anything like this before. So I don't know what's on this hard drive. Windows needs to be on a hard drive, right? Uh, let's press F1 to continue. Oh, does the keyboard work? It does. So the keyboard works, so I didn't ruin that. Error loading OS, operating system. I don't know if you can see that, guys. So, error loading OS, which means there's nothing on this hard drive, I believe. So, what we're going to do is we're going to download Windows and see if that works. And then I'll be back. So, I've downloaded Windows onto a USB. It is a new system, not a copied system from my other laptop, which is a load of poop. Which, by the way, I ran a benchmark test on it and it came out with a points of 193. I don't know if I've told you that. I'm going to show you that later. But let's plug this in and then reboot the system uh, and then see what happens. So turn it off. Yeah. I need to plug this in. Yeah, turn it back on. I can't believe it's working. This is a computer for free, guys. Oh, maybe it's not working anymore. Oh, it is. There we go. Comes up with Acer. The monitor works. The keyboard works. I haven't checked the mouse yet. Right, do I want to down choose an operating system to start or press tab to select a tool? Use the arrow keys to highlight your choice and press enter. Windows 10 64 bit, Windows 10 32 bit. To specify an option for this choice, press 8 seconds until 13 seconds. We've got 30 seconds or what? 10 seconds or what? Shit. All right, we're just going to go with the 64 bit. Who knows? Enter, choose. Oh, here we go. Can you see this guys? So we're loading files. Well, the good news is we know the motherboard works, I think. We know we've got all of the bits we need to make a computer. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stick with the i5. I'm going to check the specs against the other two. CPUs that I got, if you remember, we got this CPU here. E 
five three it was making some weird noises oh here we go we're booting unbelievable guys this is trash this was trash any of your language has it got mesensetopia on there no let's enter oh my mouse yes it's it's kind of working oh we're gonna need new new mouse get you can do it maybe i need a mouse pad hold on there yes it's the mouse pad install now all right guys we're installing windows i'm not going to bore you with this let me install the windows and i'll come back to you all right guys i don't know if you can see that but we managed to get windows working so it says getting files ready installation uh, there was a bit of there was some files on the hard drive i deleted it i formatted it i don't know what was on there it's a shame I really wanted to see so I could get some dirt on some people. I don't know who it belonged to, but you know. Anyway, we're getting ready with installation. I am going to see you in the next episode. Please subscribe, smash the like button, smack the subscribe button, and the ring the bell. We are going to take, we're going to clean this up because there's pure dust coming out of this machine. And then we're going to take it all apart if it works, and we're going to start building our PC. First, I'm going to get the gaming room ready. Smash the subscribe button. Let's go.